four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Raw. That's the word that I maintain best describes this look at a Nobel Prize winner and his relationship with his wife and son. Joan Castleman, as played by Glenn Close, is highly intelligent. As an aspiring writer, she was taught by and attracted to her lecturer, Joe, Jonathan Price. She might have been asked to babysit for Joe and his wife, but before long, that marriage had failed, and Joe and Joan tied the knot and had a family of their own. Now, 40 years later, the pair travel with their son David, as played by Max Irons, to Sweden, where Joe's to collect the Nobel Prize in Literature. Incidentally, they also have a daughter, Susanna, who's about to give birth. In those four decades, Joan has sacrificed her own talent, dreams and ambitions to fan the flames of her charismatic husband and his skyrocketing literary career. She's ignored his infidelities and excuses because of his so-called art with grace and humour. Their fateful pact has built a marriage upon uneven compromises, but now Joan has reached her breaking point. The first cracks are exposed by a persistent and pesky journalist, Nathaniel Bone, played by Christian Slater. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Directed by Bjorn Runge, The Wife is adapted by Jane Anderson from Meg Woolitzer's novel of the same name. Close is heavily nuanced, at times searing, in her portrayal of The Wife in Later Life. Price, too, plays the flawed attention seeker very well. To bastardise a line from Hamlet, the gentleman doth protest too much, methinks. Vulnerability sums up their son, who's desperately seeking his father's approval. The wife is beautifully crafted, exceptionally well written by Anderson, who develops the backstory slowly but surely. Flashbacks are used sparingly, but most effectively, to build a picture of the early years of the relationship between husband and wife. But it's while in Stockholm to collect his gong that the threads really unravel for Joe. The scenes in the back of a stretch limo are most telling. To quote Charles Dickens from A Tale of Two Cities, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. For make no mistake, this is a family masquerading, finding it ever so hard to hide dysfunctionality. It's the frankness of the conversations under the close glare of the cameras that open up hitherto bandaged wounds. The results are incendiary and unforgettable. The wife scores a seven and a half to eight out of ten. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Subscribe to the full podcast at Audioboom, Stitcher and iTunes or your favourite podcast distributor. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.